out of the way and just give them the environment that they want. Uh, so clearly, uh, this is being ruled out just uh, the way they would like it. Uh, Bharat, what you have to say? Uh, well, before I start, let me, uh, I feel like I should say two, two things. One, um, I feel a lot of peer pressure to show my birth certificate here just to prove my age, but I, I will resist that. That's to start with one. And the other one is, I think I'm going to have to uh, agree with Arjit. I think you'll find that we have a lot more in common in the way we think about talent and the way we nurture them than we differ for the most part. And any differences are cultural because, um, you know, uh, founder-led companies have their own unique culture and they bring the, bi you know, biases both good and bad that the founders bring in. And that way, Google and, again, Google and Facebook are similar. So what does it mean to manage uh, uh, generational differences at Facebook. Uh, I think we I th we are mostly Manel, uh, uh, geographies, uh, the disparities in geographies apart, I think we all want to say we're mostly Gen Y or millennials for the most part. And again, when you look at uh, the evolution across the countries, I think India in particular, we have a higher population of millennials. Um, it's important to identify what do these millennials aspire for and how do, you, uh, how do you align that with the growth that comes with the organization and how are you going to create, uh, how, do you, how are you going to create opportunities within the organization that that's going to keep them not worry about something's going wrong and what's the next coolest thing. I think that's the way to manage millennials. At least that's something that Facebook is very focused on and it's something that I have learned uh, and my background has been working mostly with tech and mostly with internal organizations. My first job was actually Google so we should Commiserate after the panel discussion. Um, the biggest theme for this organization is am I bored? And that's the one that I've learned with both Gen Ys to some extent, millennials definitely. So high on ambition, high on potential. Obviously, we, we pride ourselves on our, on our hiring bar as well. So when you, when you have this combination of people who you think you've hired the best and you bring them in and all of them are ambitious to do more, you have to make sure that you're not get, getting out of the way, that's obviously important, but in addition to that, as your organization grows, if you're, org if, if you're coming up with some cool new initiatives and you're talking about the next best thing, is there transparency in the organization? Are these people able to see that? Again, going back to saying that when, as long as, you, as, long as the, uh, this generation believes that I have something to, of value to add and I'm not bored, and that bored, I keep going back to that word, because the market around us changes so much faster than we are. If we are not going to be able to keep up that pace within the organization, then I think we've lost that generation. And for us, managing millennials is all about creating those processes, those mechanisms, everything that has to do with making sure that people know what their opportunities are and are constantly saying that, you know, we're, we're keeping you so um, engaged with awesome work and you always have something more better and cooler to look forward to because that's the, that's the world we want to represent and those are the products we want to build and you have that here. Uh, that I think is the key to managing millennials and that's what I'm learning at Facebook.